Welcome guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are interested in self-development, working from home and entrepreneurship, you are at the right place. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to synchronize your audio player and your foot pedal such that you can type or transcribe faster. I have these two important tools that I highly recommend and use as a transcriptionist. I've been using these tools since I began transcribing in late 1990s and they have really helped me to produce more and get paid more. By the way, this tutorial is not a sponsored video by the brands I'm going to mention here. And just to be clear, I personally use them, but you can choose to purchase other brands. The first tool that you need to have is the Express Scribe, which is a digital voice or audio player. I've never used any voice player other than this one, and so far, fortunately, I never had any problem with it. For you to get your own Express Scribe audio player, you need to go to their website. And by the way, as of this recording, I have signed up for their affiliate program with my personal link, which I will also provide in the description below. So now we hop over to my browser and then copy paste the link that I have provided so you can also use that one. And then it will bring you to this page. You'll then have to choose which version you want because there are actually two versions here of Express Crime. So if we click on the Purchase Pro Edition, it will show you the versions of Express Scribe here, the basic standard version and the Express Scribe Professional Unrestricted License, which at, at the time of this recording, these are both priced at $24.99 plus tax. By the way, I have purchased the professional version. Again, you can simply go to the link below that I have provided in the description of this video. For your information, this software is made by the NCH software, and this is one of the most commonly used and recommended audio players by the majority of the transcriptionists globally. When you're done purchasing, make sure to install the software and create your shortcut in your computer so it's always ready to use. And the second tool is the foot pedal. And what I personally use is the Infinity brand and the specifications of such I will provide in the description below. It is called Infinity VEC in USB 2 digital foot control with USB computer plug. You can get it from Amazon or you can email me at info at anasantoshub.com for more details. By the way, this is a three function USB foot control which is very sturdy and durable with micro switches to ensure countless hours of trouble free performance. The ergonomic design includes a wide central sloping play pedal. The size enables you to easily move your foot from these three important keys, which include play, fast forward, and rewind. Now let's proceed to setting up and synchronizing these tools together, and then we will try to upload a voice file later on and test it. So let's assume you have already purchased the Express Scribe software and you have your foot pedal ready. Make sure you have properly downloaded and installed it to your computer with your shortcut. By the way, setting up the VEC USB Infinity foot pedal for Express Scribe is easy for both PC and Mac users. So for Windows, here are the steps. You get to plug in the foot pedal to any available USB port on your computer or laptop. Then click on the options, it's right here. And then you go to the controller tab. Then take the option enable handheld or foot pedal controller. So this one right here, you should make sure that it's ticked. And then you click on the controller setup wizard, which is this one. And then you have to click next. Then you have to select your controller from the list, detected controllers, then click next. So in this case, of course, what you have here is VEC Infinity in USB 2 or 1. So in my case, it's in USB 2 USB. So you just have to click that and then next. 
And now you will see in this window the specifications or the properties of your controller, which shows the company, the model, the interface, and the how many pedals or buttons you have. And then click Next. And now on this screen, you can custom co configure your controller. And to do so, click on the Change a Command button right there. So it's right here. And because mine is already set up, so I'm just going to show you exactly how I did that. And you can actually follow what I have done with mine. So a new window will appear with a drop down list. And then you get to select your desired command from the list. You may want to follow my configurations, as I said. So for the left pedal, you select fast forward. So these are the options here, okay? The left pedal here, so since this is a three function pedal, you have left pedal, middle pedal, and the right pedal. So left, I am choosing the fast forward for that function key, and then I click OK. And for the middle pedal, I just click on the, so same thing, you have to click on the change a command button right there, and then you get to go to middle pedal, and then play here, and then click OK. The same goes true for the right pedal, and then of course you go to change a command tab there, and then click on the right pedal, and then of course what is left is the rewind, and you click OK. And then all you have to do after you're done is to test if these are all working fine. So what you have to do is to make sure that your foot is pressing on the left pedal, which is supposed to be doing the fast forward key. So a, a word yes should appear here, which means that everything is working fine. And then you press on, put your foot on the middle pedal and press it. And it should also show you a yes word here on the right side. Same goes through with the right pedal. You press on that one and a word yes should also appear to know that everything is working fine. So because everything works well and we have tested that everything is okay, you just have to press finish and press okay. And that's it. So next is we're going to test uh, the, the voice file if that is working well as well. So now for Mac OS, the Express Scribe that you have, uh, for example, 5.02 and earlier versions, you just have to plug them into the USB socket and run the Express Scribe, and they will be detected normally. Otherwise, you can also go into the Options tab, then the Controller tab, and then run the Foot Pedal Configuration tool. One more thing that I wanted to also show you is how you can appropriately set up your default playback device. Since I have done mine, I encourage you to just copy my own settings because this works well for me and I hope this will also work for you. However, should you need to adjust some of the settings here, you may want to play around the buttons. Now we go to the options and then go to controller and then click on the playback tab. You'll see this one so another window will appear and it will show you this settings. As I said, I have set up mine previously and this works very well for me. You can also take a photo of this so you can copy this, especially for the default slow playback speed, which is 50%. For playback speed for default fast playback speed, it's 150%. For auto back step on stop or the milliseconds, it's 1600 seconds. Now you can also put in here the numbers for the rewind for 500, for the speed 150, and then to the right side it's 800, and then for forward 500, and then 150, and then 800. This exactly is how I set up mine, and as I said, this works perfectly fine for me. Now, let's test our Express Scribe and our foot pedal if they are properly synchronized by playing an actual voice file to the audio player. 
but when you are to start transcribing make sure to designate a folder where your voice files go i have chosen my own folder and i'm going to show you in a moment so what we do now is to press on the load tab here and then since i have downloaded a voice file it shows here and i'm going to click on that but here's another tip for you i normally would click on this delete file after loading so my express scribe is not going to be messy so i'm going to do this click on that and then load and then it will automatically populate inside my express scribe so now i want to show you if this is working fine if i have successfully synchronized everything so what i want to do now is to put my foot on the middle pedal which is the play dictating a medical report please put the medical report involved in it there you go so you see it's perfectly running okay because obviously you can hear the voice file oh, please put the medical report involved and then you may want to try as well the left pedal which is the fast forward as we set up that way and then you may also want to press on the right pedal which is the rewind button right there so everything is working fine here so we now can start transcribing but of course for you to have a seamless transcription you have to wear your headset okay so everything is working fine you just have to follow what i have instructed you to do and happy transcribing so again i invite you to please subscribe like and share this video so you will be notified of the information i'm going to be sharing in the near future and i'll see you again next time godspeed